InfoWarsStore.com or call 1-888-253-3139. InfoWarsLife.com. Live life healthy. From the water table to our soils to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. In the near future. When you realize how fake it all is, the football, the security basketball. Alert. Security alert. This is Homeland Security. Analysis. InfoWars building independent media operations. You let the worst people get controlled and tell us that we are the ones responsible. Prime directive discredit Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist. It's a popular conspiracy theory talk show called InfoWars. Alex Jones is now in an Austin jail. These people are assaulted. Targeting of Patriots engaged. They are never going to stop. They're never going to deviate from their program until we stop them. Block free iPhone app at InfoWars.com. Block free podcast and video feed. Imperative destroy Prison Planet TV. You gotta set your eye on the enemy, not worry about what propaganda they put out intellectually. It's because you can feel it. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Crashing through the lies and disinformation, it's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight. I'll be your host today. And we've got some more reports coming up from our InfoWars reporters who've been down at the border, as well as from Alex Jones. In that last segment, he was talking about how the hypocrisy of what's going on at the borders, where Homeland Security has completely opened the borders to anyone bringing in anything that they wish to bring in. And yet, we see how they are using the TSA internally at the airports, and not even at the airports, also at uh, bus stations, at train stations, on the highways with their Viper teams. We see how they're using this police state, this B.F. Skinner type of psychological, uh, psychological conditioning where they say, you know, let me put my hands on you and I'll let you fly. I'll instantly reward you with some positive thing that you want. That's called positive operant conditioning when you do it to a dog. That's what they're doing to us. This should stop it. This hypocrisy of what's happening simultaneously, as we just saw earlier in the program, is Jakari and uh, Staff Sergeant Joe Biggs coming back from the Pelosi photo op. They were stopped by a Border Patrol agent who is pressuring them to say that they're Americans by birth, and they refused to do that. They said, we're residents of Texas, and that's all they would tell them. And they said, oh, by the way, do you want to know where the illegal aliens are? Because we just filmed a whole bunch of them down here. Oh, yeah, we know all about those people. We're not going to really bother with them. Well, you know, it, it's, it's, that's the way it's going to roll out. And I want to talk about uh, what's happening in Detroit and compare that to what's happening in Central America. But before we do, I want to remind you that this hour, the Alex Jones Show is brought to you by My Patriot Supply. You know, with the collapse of the border, with the soaring meat prices, it's clear there's no longer time to wait. You need to get prepared today. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com and check out their complete line of preparedness products. My Patriot Supply is the home of the Patriot Pantry line of emergency food storage. If you don't have food, you're no threat to the New World Order. They're counting on you to be ever-dependent slaves to their system of control, but you can fight back. You can establish independence for yourself, for your family, 
by securing your own private supply of storable food. And there's no better way to prepare than this Patriot-owned company. Visit MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex for special offers to listeners of this broadcast. For a limited time, they're offering additional discounts off their already low prices. That website again is MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex. And also on InfoWarsLife.com, we now have a 25% off special from Fluoride Shield. You know, you can get the filters to try to get fluoride out of your water, but you're still, if you drink anything outside of your house, even if you live on a well uh, system, you're still going to be exposed to fluoride because they put it in the water almost everywhere. And we have uh, Fluoride Shield an exclusive blend of key herbs and ingredients specifically infused with a formula to help support the elimination of toxic forms of fluoride as well as other dangerous things like mercury, chlorine, and bromine from within the body. That's at InfoWarsLife.com, 25% off special of Fluoride Shield. Now, talking about water, talking about fluoride, what's going on in Detroit? Well, they have thousands of people now who are getting their water turned off. Detroit is cutting their services for non-payment. You know, Detroit is a good example of what's going to happen to America. We all look at uh, the massive amounts of people coming in, the collapse of the border. Many people just can't believe that America could collapse to the level of a third world country. Well, you obviously haven't looked at what happened in Detroit. One of the wealthiest areas of the country formerly but what happened? They moved pretty much most of the automobile industry out of the area, foreign countries to other areas of the country, but mostly to foreign countries. As industry collapsed, the economy collapsed. The same thing is happening now in America. And of course, David Petraeus says, well, what comes after America? You know, what comes after Detroit? Well, North America, NAFTA comes after Detroit because NAFTA was set up to take down America. And if you don't think this can happen, if you don't think they're going to collapse us economically, you're not paying attention. Here in Detroit, they're cutting off people's water because they can't pay for it. But of course, they're still putting fluoride in the water. Still putting more fluoride in the water in Detroit than they do even in Austin. It's absolutely amazing to see that they're doing this. But look at what's happening in the socialist paradise of Venezuela. See, in Venezuela, they have people who can't get water. That's why one of the reasons why they're leaving the country and going elsewhere. They're packing up, they're leaving, they're uh, traveling up because they can't get drinking water. They can't get medicine. And there's this article that we've uh, shown a couple of times about a month ago, uh, the beginning of June. Bloomberg reported, here's the headline, Venezuela sacrifices drinking water to pay bondholders. Now, let's, let's make that a little bit more accurate. Venezuela sacrifices drinking water to pay the banksters. Okay, that's really what they're talking about. And they, talk, they have a quote from a, a guy who's an analyst at Barclays, and he said, the government's priority is to pay the sovereign debt, not to provide water, not to provide medicine, not to make sure that you've got an economy that can provide those things. No, why don't they have an economy that provides those things? Socialism was supposed to help the little guy, right? Wrong. What it did under Hugo Chavez, if you look at this, you find that they're bragging about the fact that under Hugo Chavez, they got nearly 700% return on their investments, the bankers did. Now, we know that bankers funded Lenin to start the communist revolution in Russia. That's the way it goes. It's always easiest to take somebody like Lenin or like Hugo Chavez, or like Hillary Clinton, who says they're for the little guy, they're for the 99%, and yet they're being run and controlled by the biggest banks, Goldman Sachs, giving the Clinton Foundation half a billion dollars. They hold their fundraisers there. That's where this is coming. It's the phony kind of hypocrisy that we see from Hillary Clinton, from Nancy Pelosi. That's why people in Venezuela don't have drinking water. That's why they're fleeing the country. That along with the war on drugs that we've inflicted on them, that we run simultaneously, that creates a violent war within their country so that they flee for their lives, they flee for drinking water. Where do they come? America. The same thing is going to happen here. The same thing is happening here. And just today, we see that Venezuela has, is suffering massive electricity blackouts, that they're leaving commuters scrambling, and even the president can't get out his propaganda message. That's right. Twice the president of Venezuela had his broadcast interrupted because they lost power.
<laughs> you know, and Margaret Thatcher said the problem with socialism is that uh, eventually you run out of other people's money. I guess the problem in Venezuela is essentially you eventually run out of everything, electricity as well as water. But there's another aspect of all this hypocrisy that I find very troubling, and that is the fact that they're using children as beards when we know how they feel about children. Remember what Melissa Perry Harris said? So part of it is we have to break through our kind of private idea that kids belong to their parents or kids belong to their families and recognize that kids belong to whole communities. Once it's everybody's responsibility and not just the households, then we start making better investments. There you go. That's the public service announcement from MSNBC, Melissa Harris Perry. And Nancy Pelosi was at the border yesterday and she had this to say about children. I'm a mother of five. I have nine grandchildren. I wish that I could take all those children home with me. Yeah, see, she wants to take all those children home with her. Now, one of the things that concerns me about this is that I believe that they are bringing in a lot of young children. Of course, this act that uh, Obama put in says that they're going to allow children to stay, and they define children as people up to 31 years of age. 31 years of age, you still qualify as a child as for protection. So I guess they can legitimately say that these gangs, these drug gangs are children, right? But what they're really doing, I believe, is I believe they're bringing in a massive army of people who they can raise apart and separate from families, apart and separate from any understanding of the foundations, legal and cultural, of this country. That has always been the dream of Machiavellian dictators, going back to Plato's Republic. They didn't want anybody to know who their parents were. They wanted all the children to be raised by the state. Look at this report that was up, went up on uh, Friday with, uh, on InfoWars. A father is arrested because his eight-year-old son skips church. Now, what happens is a church van pulls up to the house. The kids run out, say, the church van's here. They run out. One of the kids, the eight-year-old, runs down to a convenience store a half mile away. When the police come in, they ask him where he lives. He's very scared. He says, I, I don't know. I don't know. Somebody there recognized him, said he lives down here. So they went down, and they arrested the father. Now, remember back in September 2012, we had this headline at InfoWars, Society Now Criminalizing Parents That Allow Children to Play in the Yard. Our children can't be in the neighborhood playing in the yard as we all did when we grow up. If we do that, we are arrested. We have our children taken away from us. But Obama and Pelosi encourage the parents of Central and South America to have their children run the gauntlet of drug cartels and pedophile prostitution rings so they can do it for economic gain, so they can do it for political control. We're going to be right back. Stay with us. I've always believed in nutrition and herbs. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals sourced from powerful organic herbs harvested around the planet and then concentrated for maximum potency. I just received my Male Vitality about three days ago, and I must say that is good stuff. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO or organic super male vitality formula super male vitality by infowars life is so powerful that i only take half the recommended dose i jump out of bed ready to fight these criminals every day i look forward to waking up and taking my super male vitality and get the day started it's not just the super male vitality all the products at infowarslife.com are simply amazing visit infowarslife.com today to secure your super male vitality and other powerful products from infowars life a chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply 
supplies worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride, it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-313. 